Okay, we're starting with a 3 16 thick polyethylene part. We're putting it now on the vacuum table, sucking it down on the 5 axis machine to hold it into place. You press the start button on the 5 axis and we're going to start to cut the part to height. It has a few different levels. The machine we're using is a 5 axis double table thermwood machine. The program we used to do the programming was SurfCam. We have a quarter inch solid carbide cutter oak flute from Onsford. We're cutting about 130 inches per minute. As you can see, no one's attending to the machine. So you're able to put the part in, suck it down, press start, and you can go to another machine while this is machining the part. Right now, we cut it to height. take away the throwaway section of the part. Now as you can see the head turned upside down. Now we're using a 1 8 high speed cutter to start drilling into the uh, holes in the part. We're going to walk over to get a little closer to the part so you have a better idea of what it's cutting right now. See we have air blowing on the tool itself so you don't have any buildup of plastic on the cutter. The 1 8 cutter right now is putting in holes about 200 thousandths in diameter. If we had a tool changer on this machine, we would just have a drill come out and actually drill the holes so we would not have to route each one of them.
You can see now we're putting holes in on an angle. This can only be done on a five axis machine. As you can see, we definitely have some wasted movement on the programming end of it. Sometimes your software package um, makes it happen like this. So you really should edit your program to get rid of all unwasted uh, wasted moves. You could probably cut about 40 seconds off this program based on what I'm looking at. Now you can see at the end here we have a finished part. This part's called the swing door panel. That's it. The whole program took about 8 minutes and 30 seconds uh, unattended. You would not need anyone there to, um, to work on the part so the operator is able to run other machines.